All right. Welcome, everybody, back to game two of the night. Uh, we have Third Impact yet again playing, but this time against United Parcel Service. This is actually a uh, a remake game from week two, uh, just because of uh, some um, the requirement stuff. Uh, we're giving uh, Third Impact the chance to either take the take the win from UPS or for UPS to uh, show that they truly are the uh, the deservers of this of this game. Um, but letting them fight it out again, uh, which is what we're which is what we're doing here tonight. Um, so August is with me again. Uh, I don't know if he's back yet though. He said he had to use the restroom. Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm right. back. I'm back. Okay, I'm cool. back. Yeah, let's go. Um, so give us a give us a rundown. What do you think on this matchup tonight? Um, I mean, we just saw a huge like a dominating performance come out from Third Impact, and UPS was a pretty. I mean, they are a top tier team with. Mailbox, Zuko, um, just being two powerhouses on the side of UPS. So I'm excited for it because we just saw Sugar Daddy's canyon gap in the top lane just because, I mean, he looked great on Alawi. So I'm curious to see Zuko versus Taddy's matchup. And then, um, you know, Ghost to Lenny and Katara, they looked really good last game. Um, the one question I do have, do you have a draft link? Because I don't believe I have one. Uh, I do. I'll send it to you. But overall, I'm I'm excited for this matchup. What about you? Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, like you said, a third impact coming off uh, with a dub. They have the momentum. They have everything pointing in their favor. Um, but UPS did win the first matchup back in week two against this team. Um, I believe draft is started. But draft is starting. Yep. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, UPS uh, looking to. I'm gonna prove that they are in fact the better team here. Um, T or third impact to definitely looking to prove them wrong here, and maybe we'll get to see another spicy, uh, spicy matchup in the tournament. Might get a rivalry going, which is pretty cool. Right. Uh, first one we... coming out to uh, Diego, obviously targeting uh, Novak himself. Yeah, with the Diana band coming through for UPS. Like I said, we just saw a huge performance by Notorious Mid on that pick. Um, they are hovering the cane. The cane will get banned away from mailbox as well. Um, they're just throwing their bands at them. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised maybe if they ban out Kha'Zix or something next, but we do see a Tristana band coming through. Yeah, I think Kha'Zix is... I think it's what most teams ban against the UPS. Um, there it is. Or it's hovered at least. There it is. Locked in. Uh, Viego, Kane, Kha'Zix. Just kind of on repeat. They don't want... Mailbox getting any of those comfort picks, but uh, Diana is a good ban, I think. Even though I believe she got nerfed this last patch, um, she's still kind of strong in every role that she's like viable in. So um, definitely not a bad ban there. And first pick Alawi actually, so he's running it back on the Alawi. And I'm curious. Granted, I love the uh, Machisma here, but I'm wondering what we'll see on the side of Zuko. Um, just because he has shown himself to be a pretty proficient top lane player. So we do see the rumble coming through. I wouldn't be surprised if that is put into the jungle, um, just because rumble himself is quite the terror, you know, being able to play a lot at the moment. Yeah. He, um, he kind of got OP in three positions simultaneously. I mean, I actually see the Gwen coming out here, so it is going to be likely going to be Gwen versus Alawi in the top lane, which I think is a lot better, actually, because she can just W uh, Alawi's spirit pull thing and, like, kind of just make him useless in, or make her useless in that regard. Yeah, and we saw the Gwen come through when they played um, I'm Not Trying, I believe, and he built a huge lead up in the top lane. The one question that I will have, just because Gwen does have a lot of sustain is if Alawi is going to go for like an executioners or something early or how that matchup plays out yeah to be honest i haven't seen that matchup like ever so yeah sustain versus sustain because they both have a lot of healing in their kits so we'll just have to see which which one can sustain longer but uh like you said rumble could be any position and on the top side of the map gonna be jungle or mid here likely jungle like you said um, and we have Senna coming through with a, either ADC or support pick. Regardless, I don't think she's going to be farming whatever their, whatever her partner is in the bot lane. Um, but yeah, we do have a Senna and a Zac in as well. So there's the engage and there's the tankiness that you need in a good, in a good team comp. Yeah, and I like it overall. We have a lot of damage coming out of the side of the UPS. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if we throw in a little more utility from the support or possibly the mid lane. Yeah, uh, I, so the thing about first picking Alawi is like you save uh, counter pick for mid lane now rather than top lane. Um, I guess you, I guess you get counter pick for top lane anyway. But um, now you can save, you can have two matchups, I guess, that are like in your favor. So first picking the Alawi, although it, I obviously it's a cover pick given that last game, and um, we know that uh, the top lane is super like comfortable on it. Um, like, will it? Will it be as strong as last game because you know they're expecting it now with the first pick and Lucian is locked in for the last pick in um, rotation one or pick phase one rather for UPS um, could be mid could be ADC probably gonna be ADC uh, you don't really see many um, Lucian mids anymore but yeah, uh, yeah bands coming out Lu uh, Jinx is getting banned I think that's a good pick in the Lucian so probably yeah again Lenny just played that last game so I wouldn't be surprised if. Uh... Uh, I was going to say, too, the Rune Tato is pretty proficient on the Rel. He, that is one of his favorite champs, I believe. Plays a lot of it. That's going to be banned away with the Orianna Hover coming out on the side of UPS. Um, Orianna and Zac would be pretty lethal, so I see the synergy there. Um, and I'm curious to see what TI, what they're going to throw for a last ban here. But the one thing I was going to say is I was seeing a lot of Lucian um, from, like, Jawu on um out in msi and that champ is disgusting i could see it being top two although i don't really? think it will be but lucian with like gal forest is just uh, it's gross oh well i guess it's the opposite in solo queue then like then so then again, solo queue is different than competitive play solo queue i don't see him that much anymore but like you were saying about the support bands um they're banning out looks like they are going to ban out rotato yeah. uh Rel, obviously, Rotato's the best Rel in the league. There's no, no debate. Um, although I haven't seen his Leona. But I'm sure I'm sure he's pretty good on Leona as well. But like you said, Orianna comes out for last ban. No uh, no Wombo combos with Zach, unfortunately. Um, and it also uh, inhibits a lot of range that uh, that TI could have. Because they do have uh, they do have range right now, as with uh, Senna and the long, long engage from Zach. Um, with the Orianna ban, it's kind of like hard to zone, I guess. Without uh, without the ball there, and so that's going to be picked up here. Uh, I actually, what is that set support? It should be set support, I believe. But I did, did he recently get a buff for solo laning or no? I believe that's... he did. A I lot of flexibility that. here. I yeah. because I feel like Gwen is top. Lucian probably ADC, yeah. Although it could be flex med, but I feel like that is going to be. The set support um but on the side of ti i'm curious what they're gonna pair with that senna in the bot lane yeah i kind of like what ups has done here they have a lot of flexibility in their draft like you said um and there's fasting senna right there yep. uh with the tom kench um but ups they they saved counter pick for what whichever lane because i've i've played gwen mid i've played against gwen mid it's not terrible it's just like it's not as good as most mid laners for, yeah, it's just not as good as most men. Um, yeah. So I guess they could be played mid. They could throw set top, and they could have uh, counter pick support, or they could just counter pick mid, which I believe is what they're gonna do. But like they have, they have so much flexibility, and blue uh, Ti's last pick here is actually gonna determine what uh what UPS picks I leave. And they need some AP. They need AP in the mid lane for sure, because they have like none of it. Like, yeah. None of it. Like hard. Yes, well. Oh. What? oh. Oh, no baby. AP. Wait. I mean, I guess they do have the percent damage with, like, Alawi. But, you know, hey. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. The Zach Yasuo. I yeah. didn't expect to see it. But here it is. And then we have the vein being hovered for what? the bot lane. This is weird. Hey, <laughs> it's <is> weird. <laughs> another another good game. Like I said in the last cast, I seeing a lot of the same stuff drafted. You know, it's refreshing to have an Alawi top, uh, Gwen, Rumble, Lucian, Sat, Vane, Yasuo. So I'm excited to see where this one goes. It's just, I, okay. So I actually do like the, the set pick a lot because set. 
can just yoink Alawi right out of her ult, right? Um, and she's kind of like, she just does nothing without her ult, really. Um, which I, I really do like that pick. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but I like that. Um, Vayne is... Vayne just gets outranged in every possible way, I think. Right? Or, or like, so... Senna outranges Vayne, for sure. Um, Tom Kench, if she if he lands a, if he lands a lick on Vayne, then I think she's kind of just dead. Zach, Zach, uh, yeets yeets into, he eats onto Vayne, and Yasuo follows up and Alawi. I guess Alawi just can't really do much against Vayne, but like at the same time, I just don't. I think Vayne may not have been the greatest pick here. I think someone with more range would have been much more viable. Um, they're uh, they're very lacking on range on the side of UPS, and on the other side, they have Senna who can heal infinitely with range. Um, yeah. I think I would have maybe liked something like Avaris or so. Just adding that additional um, alt for the CC. You know, I, I think that would maybe be a little bit of a better lane matchup as well. But I agree. Um, it should be overall interesting to see how this stuff plays out. Again, the Alawi first pick, it was super ambitious. You know, 1v9 in the last game, so I could see the... The eagerness to lock it in. We'll see how the Gwen versus Alawi matchup plays out. But the other thing I'm curious on too is going to be um, Mailbox on the Rumble. I haven't seen, you know, him play the Rumble. Uh, although it looks like he's been playing it a little bit here and there from his match history. Um, so I think that's going to be the biggest thing is how these lanes shake out with the Zach versus Rumble. Yeah, it's mm. obviously yeah. he's gonna he's gonna out farm you because Rumble just you know he's got a pretty pretty fast clear speed, but Zach doesn't have he doesn't need as much gold to be relevant. Yeah, like the Zach's ganks are top tier compared to Rumble, Rumble's ganks. Like, what does Rumble do? He comes in, he slows you. That's kind of all he does. Um, Zach has a knock up, um, more like multiple forms of CC, like three forms of CC, CC including his ult in his kit. Um, so he definitely, like, he'll have more presence in the lanes, but Rumble definitely has the damage advantage over... Damage advantage. It's a cool, it's a cool run. Um, over Zach. And, yeah, so while UPS opted to go for, like, very damage heavy, because they have a ton of damage, TI decided to go for... I, got, I think they want to play for Alawi just split pushing, because their 4v4 is, like, disgustingly strong. Um, with, uh... Senna, Zach, Tom Kench, Yasuo. Like Senna's not gonna die because you have Tom Kench there, and you have the like the best engage you can ask for is Yasuo with Zach. It's I, I love the draft weather. I absolutely love it. Although the only thing I would change about it is that they don't have any AP. Yeah. They have they have zero AP except like you know like Zach and Tom Kench if those count, but like no like hard like one shot AP damage. Not like a like not like an Oriana that they banned or like a Zoe or something. They have like no solo lane AP. Which is kind of, uh, it might come back to bite him in the ass, but at the same time, UPS doesn't really have any tanks. So it doesn't Yeah. Matter. That was the other thing that I was getting at. It's, whether it's a Vayne, a Lucian, Rumble, Gwen. Um, Gwen obviously would be a little tanky ish, ish, depending on how you make it. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing is, too, Rift Maker, right? I'm curious to see that tested out on Gwen up in top lane and see how strong it actually is with the recent change. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be quite a game we got on our hands tonight. Um, but yeah, we are going to take a uh, three-minute break until the uh, Spectre LA uh, leaves. Uh, <laughs> goes away. So yeah, we'll be back in three minutes. Stay tuned.
Yeah, it's the first game after the update. Cool. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'm at. I'm anime. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. Oh. Okay. Little yeah. Walking. So right, you. Well, are we live? Yeah. Yep. All right. Cool. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, we got. PI versus UPS here. Very interesting comps on both sides. Um, I wonder if we're going to have any spicy level 1 action. Doesn't look like it. It's going to go straight for the 5 point. Um, anything interesting to note here? Oh, yeah. Even summoner spells across the board. We don't see that every day. Yeah, I don't see anything uh, out of the ordinary. Everything's pretty standard. Um, you know, just a 5 point. Like we said, the biggest thing that I'm curious on too is going to be the top lane matchup. Sugar Taddy's being huge in their last win um, with Zuko getting the counter pick with the Gwen. It should be a fun, uh, fun matchup to watch. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Um, I saw his, I saw his uh, mastery points loading in, and he has more mastery points on the ladder than I do on Echo. That blows my mind. I, I think he has. Echo. Yeah, he has more mastery on Alawi that I probably have on my champions across League of Legends, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, so he's very, very comfy on that champion. Just has he played this matchup at all? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, that's the one question that I have too. We do see the red start, um, the red start buff out of both junglers, so going to be pathing away from each other. Zach going to be pathing towards top. Um... You know, nothing out of the blue. I like to see the red start side. Yeah, I think, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Rumble just tries to go for level 6 to have that uh, equalizer ult uh, gank, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Um, but I, I imagine he's going to go for a full clear, and I think Zach's going to just rush level 3 and try to get one of his laners ahead. I imagine it'll be uh, Sugar Teddy's, like last game. But maybe yeah. Maybe notorious, maybe. We'll see. You would be surprised. Um, last game, listen to the beat wasn't even. I don't even think he came top once. Right. So, yeah, it was good. With... Wow. Yep. Very resourceful Alawi up there. But it looks like he is getting shoved in here so far. Um, little tr trade, little poke action going down on the bot lane as well. Nothing too crazy happening. Shouldn't it is important to know that an ocean drag is going to be the first one up this game up in about two minutes. So no ocean soul today, which I think would have benefited uh, um, Ti very uh, very much. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just because of the mana and all that stuff that you do get, we see Lucian pathing down just to get a ward out. Um, Scuttle will be spawning here, so curious to see if the junglers look for some sort of play afterwards. Zach rotating top with rumble we could maybe see something bot the only lane setup that he really has is bot lane um so i wouldn't be surprised if we see him play around that a little bit yeah the jungler or zach is not a, on the bot side of the map but uh they're pinging for the crab because they have prior or uh ti has prior mid and bot so they're gonna try to contest this try to keep him off that crab if they can while uh, Zach is looking for a gang in the top lane, Zuko gets knocked up mid dash, gets rooted, gets pulled, pops the W, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, first blood goes over to listen to the beat. And there's the first gank of the game is up in the top lane. Kind of the opposite of the way they last game. Yeah, and that's huge. The matchup itself looked pretty even, like from what I saw. So Alawi getting a little bit of resources, a little bit of loving up in that top lane. Curious to see what he can make happen. Yeah, TP is burned by Zuko to get back into the lane so he doesn't miss the wave. Uh, Rumble and uh, Zach almost timing the recalls perfectly, but uh, Ghost of Lenny almost getting caught out. But I guess this gets uh, the Tom Kench treatment. A little bit of trading going on in the top lane as well. Zuko has a boots advantage, but that's about it. Pops the Conqueror down one, down one level, but doesn't matter. Sugar Teddy pops the flash, and there goes the snip snip. Zuko gets first first uh, solo kill onto, onto uh, Sugar Teddy's. A little bit of greed coming out from Malawi, but that is one of the issues with her. If you do get caught out <clears throat> without your tentacles or mana, you're just kind of a sitting duck. So nice 
job by Zuko to acknowledge that. And uh, the TP immediately back. Dodging the E. Zuko wants more. And yeah. Dodging everything. <laughs> Although fighting in the wave is not the best idea. It does, does get the soul snatched. Oh, looks like we're going to have a mid gank here. Saka getting ganked on. Misses a knock up. Ignite goes down onto Notorious Mid. Notorious Mid falls. Saka getting the kill in the 1v2. Well played. That was um, that was quite an interesting, uh, interesting game there. It would have it would have been a lot better if he actually if he landed the knockup, but uh, he just sidestepped it a little too quickly. But um, yeah, he yeah, missed yeah. the knockup and then the Q pull as well or the Q hit. So no CC actually coming through with that Zach, and you know it's unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't play too big of a role. We did see the ignite going down, but <clears throat> realistically, hopefully you don't need it. If you're having a Zac come gank for you on your around your alt timer, mm -hmm. yeah, pretty uh, pretty just farm heavy lanes in the bot lane, I guess. Both uh, ADCs are just trying to scale, which um, I don't know who I'd be more scared of in the late game. <laughs> um, probably gotta be Senna depending on what her build goes, but um, might see a, uh, a dragon play somewhat soon. Kings are going down for it. Maybe we'll see one. Lucian's also finding himself in the top lane, but Sugar's Teddy's is level six, and Alawi loves fighting two v ones level six. And I believe Zuko might just die here. Will Sugar Teddy fall first? Sugar Teddy falls first. But Zuko, the tentacles are still following him? Maybe? No, they are not. Zuko does uh, manage to live with 1 HP. And the dragon's being started up by TI as well. I think they just get this for free. The mid laner's not there. This will be a 4v3. Yeah, and still just that's that damage cool. coming out for Alawi. Yeah, that's all coming through for Rumble. And that's going to be a dragon over to third impact. Yeah, good try by a uh, good try by mailbox, but um, unfortunately the might does do more damage than the equalizer. Uh, and Lucian sitting pretty up 10 CS has a 2-0 lead with 150 gold bounty. Although the evens uh evens within 500, so nothing uh, crazy going on here. But the first strike does go over to third impact, and we're gonna have a mountain soul next. Actually, an engage goes on in the bot lane, but goes to Lenny just gets. This gets uh gets munched by Kitaro and out he goes. That's what it's so hard to play against Senna Tom Kench because like whenever you think you have a good engage, like there's Tom Kench just <laughs> just doing Tom Kench things. But yeah, it's uh, it's very difficult to play against them and lots of poke going down on Rotato actually. Rotato and level 32 Psyduck are both very very low. Yeah, I agree. It's uh looking at the gold, it's. Almost dead even, roughly a 200 gold difference between the teams. With most of that gold, they are coming from the mid lane Lucian. Looking at the map right now, I think we're going to see a gank on the top lane. Alawi does not have ult back yet, so this will be the time to gank. And it looks yeah. like uh, Mailbox is coming. Soul, Soul is snatched, Equalizer goes down, Sugar Tide is getting taken about half HP. Kind of goes lane, but I don't think it matters. I think Sugar Tide is going to die here. Flashless, ultless, I think, yeah. It's just a matter of time. Zuko does end up getting the kill, and that's two kills on the Zook, on uh, the Gwen, and three deaths for Sugar Tuddies. Three ten minutes. Not what you want to see on the champion that you, on the character that uh, carried you last game. Yeah, that you first picked. Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> just pushing up without any vision. There, we do see the wards on the side of um, UPS, but you know, good job coming up. Getting a gank and a, su a successful gank at that. And he is going to get the scuttle too, so it's even better. Yeah, both junglers might find each other on the top side of the map here. But without any backup, I believe Nalas is just going to back up. Yep, that's exactly that. A uh, little bit of action going on in the bot lane. Kitaro getting taken very low. You <laughs> Lenny cannot swallow Kitaro. But Psyduck also getting taken very low. I don't think he realizes how low he is. And one more auto will do it, and Ghost Lenny actually gets a kill back. And I think he's actually going to get another one too. Rotato getting taken low. Pops a shield, but nothing's gonna come of it. Yeah. Oh, it does flash, but Yasuo is here. Has to get one dash, and he should be dead. One more auto, maybe? Okay, Ignite goes down for Notorious Mid, but Linny ends up getting the kill. Good run by Yasuo. It was just to assert dominance. Listen to the beat. Might go down here. Suko dropping the Ignite. I mean, he should be safe. A lot of damage coming out from that Lucian. 
The early game Lucian, pretty crazy. Oh, it all goes down to Sugar Teddy's in the top lane. And Zuko getting taken pretty low. Pops the old, another fight going on the bottom lane. Luke, Sokka getting taken very low. Flash is coming out. Flash is everywhere. His Kitaro comes in. Mailbox has to flash over the wall. And zero for zero. Nothing comes of either of those fights. Even though health bars are getting dangerously low for both teams. Zuko gets soul snatched, gets slowed. Tentacle misses. So intense. Yeah, and so a intense. lot of action across the board. Yeah. Although we only have, you know, seven kills in the first ten minutes. I feel like, you know, we've seen everyone pretty low. Yeah, action uh, action left and right. Um, oh, going for a dive on Saga, but doesn't get it. The ultimate, or the passive, excuse me, has popped. I believe Lucian's going to pick up a kill here. He does get a kill. That's three kills for, for Sokka on the Lucian. Level 32 side dog also going in on Tiasso here. Might just get a kill, has to flash out, but nothing comes of it. Maybe. Yeah, he's going to back off here. Zugo getting taken very low as well underneath their zone tower. Still wants to fight, though. I don't think there's much you can do with that low of a health bar. But, oh my god, action just everywhere. I'm still within a 500 gold difference. Yeah. You know, just like you were saying, action literally across the map. So, the top lane is still, you know, kind of evening out. Alawi, although she has died three times, she is up roughly 26 CS. So, we see Melbox rotating towards the top with the equalizer coming out. Just to assert dominance, he's going to get snatched up underneath the turret. And there goes your vessel. It looks like he just was trying to help Zuko shove that wave um, so she could take a reset. But I'm curious if Sugar Taddies will try to TP back. Um, although I, I wouldn't recommend it with the Drake coming up. Yeah, he does, though. I think you are a few seconds behind. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, so that was an interesting play across the board, I think. Um, Sugar Taddy is TP for just like half a wave, maybe. Um, both the jugglers were topside when the dragon is up. And pings are going down for it. There's actually a 2v1 going on the top lane. Sugar Daddy's popped still, but I think she might just go one shot before he could do anything. Yeah, Saka gets another kill. 4 out, 4 on Ocean. Those are getting caught out here as well. But Kitaro is here to back her up. Um, Rintino gets Rintino ults Kitaro, and I believe that's going to be his death sentence right there. Wrong way, my friend. Let's get the stun down, but nothing comes of it. Should be second dragon going over to third impact. And yeah, with this is... being taken, either a infernal or a cloud drake will be on the board for soul point. Um, no, it's the good one. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they are—they do trade the uh, the herald on the top side of the map. They're gonna have to drop that within a minute, though, or else it's not gonna not gonna mean much of anything. Gotta get those plates down. And again, only a 200 gold difference between the two teams. Yeah, very, very tight game. And the thing about Alawi is, despite how far behind she can get, she can still do work in 1v1s and 1v2s just because of how the champion works. So I do believe that she's going to go to Silent effectively. Um, but speaking of Alawi, just damage going down like crazy on the Sugar Tatties, but it's getting taken very low under the tower. Not Nothing much. You might look for a dive. They are looking for a dive. Harold just dropped on the top side as well. Sugar Tatties doing whatever you Whenever you can, Zuko getting taken low with tower shots. Mailbox getting low as well. They don't have a wave. They can't dive this. So they gotta, they gotta yeah, they're going to have to back out. Well, they dropped the Herald. They got some uh, plate gold. Interesting play there, but uh, yeah, no harm, no foul. That just shows that uh, Sugar Taddies can hold his, hold his own in a 2v1 under his tower. Like, and the champ's 0-4. That's crazy. Yeah, I agree. Um, the biggest thing we were talking about was just the comfortability. Although, you know, you're 0-4, you still are up in CS. Gwen is closing that deficit, though. And you'll still be um, somewhat relevant as long as you can land your ease. You said some about, like, you know, splitting earlier. But I don't know, to be honest. Do you see some action at the top? Go uh, getting taken very low, but so is Sugar Tide is coming down to the wire right here, and oh, oh, trade one for one. But that that just goes to show how strong Alawi can be despite being behind. You just one v one to two one with a bounty, Gwen, as o at o five. Like he's Alawi's still going to be a menace later on in this game.
That's just that's just how the champion works. It's, yeah, so one yeah. for one on the top lane. The bounty goes over to Alawi. Um, and I believe Alawi actually gets the mythic before for Gwen. Looking at the scoreboard right now. Yeah, Gwen did invest in that executioners. So honestly, yeah. I was looking you know, you looked at that last fight. Gwen healed a lot. I would be curious if um you know, obviously hindsight Andy here, if he did invest a little bit in some of that healing reduction, if that would have made any difference throughout the laning laning phase. Yeah, I know he had the uh the boots, but um I guess the I guess the, the those weren't enough for sure. Um so, but like it looks like we have a lane swap, complete lane swap, bot lane's now top line and uh, vice versa. Although uh that's for TI at least. Uh, UPS's bot laner is actually in the mid lane. This is gonna be looking for from Tato, but nothing's gonna come of it. Sugar Tidy just get, lands the uh, the Soul Snatcher, and Sugar Tidy is once more. But I don't know if this is a move, my friend. Down one level. Soul Snatchers again. <laughs> just constant like just back and forth up, up against these two in the top lane. But if you can get that E all the way down like she just did, and <laughs> yeah, and these guys, they're just going at it, and that's going to be a kill over to, to Sugar Tatties. I, it's, they never stop fighting. And just like that, Alawi has a bounty. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. four to five in a matter of like a minute and a half. So Alawi has a bounty, still a force to be reckoned with in the sideline, and they're going to have to answer that. They can't just let her split. But what an interesting, what an interesting character. <laughs> You know, it's like it's, it reminds me of Camille. Like Camille, like that made it through PB, PBE. Are you kidding me? But anyway, on the other on the other side of the map, there's still a 200 gold difference between the teams. First drag or first uh, Inferno drag rather is going to be up in a 40 seconds. Uh, if uh, Ti can get this, they can force Soul Point at the next dragon. Um, and I believe that they're going to that uh, UPS is definitely going to want to fight for this one here. Yeah, we saw a lot of pinks coming out. Rumble looked like he was on the rotation. We have Set here as well. Top uh, he's backing right now. Maybe a little late to the party, but he does have the ultimate that you can just swoop in on. I think they're going to try to pick out Lucian here. Sokka getting rooted by Lenny, but nothing comes of it. Dragging up in 10 seconds, and Alawi has TP, rather. Uh, I was going to say has no TP, but she does have the TP, so she, so she can ult in. And uh, Tom Kench has the uh, almost global ultimate. They're going to start it up here. Going to get just absolutely one shot by UPS. They're trying to get a burn anything comes of it. And Red Team does get the dragon, but it all comes down on the Zuko. Who gets taken down the Equalizer, comes out, listen to the beat, getting... Does not getting taken low. This can be zero, zero for zero. But uh, UPS does get the first dragon. Well, I say zero for zero, but here comes listen to the beat. So this is a knockup. Zuko getting taken about half HP. Ulted, knocked up. Getting kited... Luke is the beat getting kited out though, but does does uh, end up going down to Sugar Teddies. Saka getting slowed up too. I'm telling you, if that Tom Kent licks you once, you're dead. And there goes the shutdown over to Lenny. Four, 500 gold rather. From the Lucian shutdown. Yeah, and they should be able to take the bot turret here. Yeah. Meanwhile, Vayne just getting some solo farm and XP mid. But like, will they give up and hit turret for this? And again, just great macro coming out. Although they did give up the Drake, like they gave up the Bryo to it. They just turned it around and uh, obviously they got two kills off the back end of it with looks like two turrets will be going down as well. Flash in gets the double stun. Nintendo gets uh, old Kitaro out of uh, the fight, but nothing else comes of it. Here of us fall to the Yasuel. Notorious mid uh, for getting his first kill of the game. Uh, but Lenny's overstaying just a little bit. Kitaro trying to do what, she, do what he can. Does end up falling. Will it be worth? I believe it will be. Looks like Lenny's gonna get out. Oh, but she's, she's staying? Well, she does have team to back up here. To back her up. Yeah, and that is big because you sacrificed your Tom Kench for the Senna, who has, you know, that 400 gold bounty. Yeah, definitely worth. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth. But um, do you can you avoid that entirely if you just leave a little earlier? I believe they didn't even get a tower. They didn't even get the inhib tower. Ah, uh, well, 
either way, it's um the goal the goal difference is still pretty close. It's not as close as it was with a few minutes. It's still pretty close. Um second Inferno Drag will be up in just under three minutes. Uh Baron is up on the board now as well. But I believe that uh UPS is gonna try to farm for the uh farm and wait for the bear or the uh, second dragon rather. I think they're I think they're trying to play for soul here. I think that's the best way that they can win with the, the amount of damage they have. Like if they can get that soul, then that's golden. And uh Zul getting engaged on here by listening to the beat does not land the stun or the knockup though. Kitaro's gonna land the flow. Zuko wants wants the wants the piece of this 1v3. Another knockup miss, but I don't think it'll matter. Kitaro gets swallowed up and or Kitaro swallows Zuko up and Zuko falls. But that means a tower goes over, uh, maybe? Yeah, it's a will. A tower goes over to UPS, but and maybe a kill will as well? But nah, Kitaro and Lenny come in here, uh, from basically across the map, and, uh, Mikado's gonna trade his life for the, uh, for the tower. Although, that's not the worst thing in the world. Mikado's not really worth that much right now. <clears throat> oh, and from here, I would like to see them maybe start setting up for top side, go put some vision down um granted you probably don't want to um you know start up the baron but at least set down vision the calling coming out for lucian to clear the wave yeah i believe the baron will is going to be the play for ti but i believe ups does not want to fight fight for it because i'm pretty sure they lose the 5v5 right now um just with uh leads alone yeah and, and comp difference alone uh, so they want to definitely go for these skirmishes, which is I, which is why I think they're splitting up the map like they are. Um, and yeah, that, that's what they should do because they don't win this 95. And Sugar Tidy is getting engaged on here, but this is exactly where Sugar Tidy wants to be. And the, the 1v2 with ultimate up and flash. And um, Sugar Tidy has taken pretty much no damage in this skirmish so far. Mailbox on the other hand, taking down a half HP. Dragon's up in just under a minute, keep in mind that. Yeah, and, and he's... he's Buying a lot of time, but we don't see any rotation yet, except out of the side of UPS. Yeah, there goes a shutdown over to Zuko. They they took four took four people to kill him, and now they have no vision prio for Dragon. So it's going to be hard for them to retake that. Although they do get the shutdown and give it over to Gwen. It's uh, at what cost, rather? Because uh, I believe the uh, scuttle's coming up soon. And so I, I think that uh, um, Ti will be able to get the get the crab. Um, and then that they didn't actually put that much vision down. Surprisingly, I'm surprised they didn't though, because four people were topside. Um, but listen to the beat looking for an engage. No, does not go for it. Does not pull the trigger rather. Zuko does back, spends all that gold. That's actually easy to get get in here. Fight over the scuttle. Does get smited by Evil Mailbox. Does have smite up in about 10 seconds though. It's all good. Listen to the beat come goes in, lands a knock on a two. Yasuo follows up, and. And Mailbox being taken very, very low. Then he gets the gets the first kill. He also gets the second. And so much is going on. Oh my God, Zuko on the backside trying to trying to go go for Lenny, but nothing nothing come out of it. And uh, Lenny gets two kills. I believe that'll be. Oh no! Zach does not fall. The passive was proc, but nothing else. Although Psyduck going in does get the get the jungler, but um, it does not matter because that is a two for five in favor of VPS, or uh, TI. Excuse me. And beautiful uh, yeah. team fight coming out for the side of TI. Yeah, there's that uh that Yasuo was that combo that we were talking about. That's just like the instant engage. Like you can't he, Yeah. He may have missed a few, just a few throughout the entirety of like the first eleven, you know, eleven levels that I saw. But getting the engage there was huge. If you can uh, instantly like CC lock and blow up two of them, especially uh, mailbox, like one of the most like the bi the biggest damage dealers on the side of EPS. And actually, speaking of damage and mailbox going in, actually about a one shot Lenny, and taking extremely low. Although does interesting flash in, but uh, does uh, does not get the kill on Delinny. This is a 700 gold bounty, and that's a very very big Senna. That's a large Senna. You don't want to see a large Senna on the other team. Sokka actually catching out Kitaro here. Free kill over to, free shutdown over to Gwen rather. It, Kitaro on the top can did have a shutdown somehow. I believe Tower is going to fall to Paris mid on the top side, but they're maybe trying to trying to go pick him out. Oh my God, are we going to see it? The also 1v3? Oh, 
Oh, uh. What? And oh, he has to try to him. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna try to run out. They don't have any CC. They are gonna go in. Sokka dodges the, the knockup. Notorious been getting taken very low. Yasuo ults back in onto Zuko. Or Sokka, excuse me. Getting taken down by Zuko on the back side of the map. Zane, Psyduck on the Vayne getting taken extremely low. Getting 1v1 by the tank. Tank meta, by the way. And they uh, they lost both of their carries in that little scuffle there. And they're starting out the Baron, actually. This actually is, I think this is a really good play here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, on the side of third impact, you just have to let them die, I think, at that point. But listen to the beat still being able to threaten with the 50-50. It doesn't look like they're going to go for the Baron, though. Static very, very low on the vein. Soul is snatched. And uh, Soul is gone. But uh, Alawi, once more, might be able to get a kill. No, just backs up. Smart. I like that play. Um, the, I think the pressure. But uh, they didn't end up pulling the trigger on it. So Baron is still up. Second, uh, third, excuse me. Inferno Drag is going to be up in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, and that'll be the soul for TI. Definitely something that UPS wants to fight for. And one of the things to note, Vayne did end up getting that um, shutdown for the Senna. So, oh. we'll see how much money that pocket in her can... How much money in the pocket that that'll do? Yeah, I didn't even realize that. I thought she was just getting one v one by the by the Zach, but I guess Tana was there as well. So yeah, that's that's a huge point right there. Lots yeah. of gold over. She got paid. And, yeah, she for sure did. Um, I don't know what the gold gap between the ADCs was before then, but now it's just within eight hundred. So um, just the component of an item stands between Tana and Vane, despite the kill gap. Yeah, and this Senna uh, will be hitting the mark where she is just, you know, kind of a terror. Mm -hmm. yeah, she the, has uh, 124 I... stacks at the moment. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, the, the main goal difference between the two teams is actually in the support position, which is not big at all, really. Like, so Tom Kench, like, has 8,500 gold, like, total, while Room Tato has 5,600, which is about 3,000. 3, then... There's a less than 3,000 gold difference between between uh, the teams right here. So, like, although the gold, like, at the top of the screen may seem, like, big, it's not really that big at all because it's just support gap. The support, like, gold gap. Yeah. And Zuko going for poke damage on to listen to the beat. Nothing comes of it, though. Dragon is up in 45 seconds. This is one to fight for, for sure. Yeah, I have to make sure that, you know, everyone is kind of on the same page in terms of setting this up. We see TI there, Zach taking his reset he wants to buy. I know last time they reset, they reset a little too slow. They gave them the inner track to it. Um, you know, it's huge to have Pryo. You can't just let the team walk up for free and take it. Yeah, for Which sure. they seem to cool. recognize that. Yeah, Alawi's um, looking for a TV spot, unless she just misclicked the recall. Uh, just chilling up there in the top lane. I think she's gonna TP behind. I bet. I bet she's gonna TP behind. Uh, no, it looks like she's actually just gonna go push right here. And Mailbox drops the equalizer. Lenny gets taken down to about half HP. Lenny pops the ult, and here comes, uh, here comes Alawi. Gets the, uh, three-man ult. Equalizer... Oh, it's already used, actually. I forgot. Uh, the also ult still is up. No knockups coming through for Sugar Caddies. Sugar Caddies gets two kills, double kill. And, um... This is a, this is a one fight for TI. Ghost of Lenny gets the third kill, and that's Soul. That should be Soul. In the amount of damage Lenny is able to, to to put out. Yeah, and there's no way to get on her. This is just, it's gotten to the point where it is a range dip. Because like, who's gonna who's gonna touch who's gonna touch Senna, right? Because like, Vayne and Lucian are the two lowest. I believe they're the the, the two lowest. Um, uh, ranged ADCs in the game against an ADC that can scale infinitely in range, right? So like, and even if you do get on her, like, Tom Kench is there to just like launch, and like you can't do anything to her. Like, it's I love I love the, the Tom Kench pick here. I I really like I really do like the Tom Kench pick. Senna, Plastic Senna is so so good here. Um, it's the Baron's gonna be started up as well. Uh, 4K goal difference now, but I'm sure it'll be a little little wider with uh 
with this Baron taken. Looks like they're not even gonna contest at all. So free Baron over to the eye. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest with you too. The amount of uh, pressure that Sugataddy's absorbed, you know, gank after gank after gank after being zero and five, zero and four, and then getting a kill. He still TP'd at the right time for that team fight to just disrupt everything. You know, he drove Mailbox out in terms of the damage just because he, he pulled them with the vessel and he was taking to a quarter HP. And yeah, then you have to either leave the fight or you and your homies are getting slapped around with tentacles and you all know what happened. Yeah, that's just that's the 1.6 million mastery at work right there. Like, you can't, you can't teach that. You just learn it. That's all from experience right there. Yeah. We see that um, Infernal buff on the side of Senna. Just yeah. the amount of damage. Oh my god. Half HP. From full HP to half HP in a matter of, like, a second. Even less than. Sokka going in on Ghost of Kitara here, looking for a pick here. I don't know. I think Sokka actually loses this. Does flash away. Oh, it still gets the kill. Kitaro getting the soul kill on the Sokka. Dude, that... People, when people say it's oh, not tanking, wow. I, I, like, I'm like, here, look at this here. And Elon Mark's being taken low, gets sniped by Ghost of Lenny. I think that uh, UPS kind of just grasped my straws at this point. Trying to get what they can. Yeah, and third impact is coming out and performing. And A strong showing from them nice so far. Does Zuko die? No, very, very close. But a sugar Taddy's uh, proving that he is the king of the top lane right now. You got to ban Alawi against this man. You got to. You got to. First inhibitor is going down. Second inhibitor on the bot lane is probably going to follow. And then third, you know, third's on the on the deck as well. I, they're not even going to wait for the order. They didn't even want the order. They want to end before then. Yeah. They don't how wanna... do you match this? They're pushing <laughs> everything at once. <laughs> it's very, very hard. This is one of the points where you just pray that they make a huge mistake. And, like... And actually, there goes an engage. The knockup's not followed up by Oswald, except from his own tornado. Uh, no deaths yet on either side, but Zach did get Zach, Zach's passive did get popped. Uh, listen to the beat. Plane gets Zuko. Uh, two kills actually, two for two rather, two for two on both sides. But uh, oh, and there's the uh, a super super dope range on Senna. Senna gets a double kill, and I believe that's going to be the game here. Yeah. Great, great showing coming out of the side of third impact. Yeah, two games in a row for one night. That's a, uh, that's pretty. That's got to be hype for sure. And you, oh, we actually got to see the victory screen. Let's go. Thank you, Riot. You're fixing yourself. Yeah, what a what a showing. That was. Uh, it's by by Sugar Taddy specifically because like he was 04, right? Or was he one four? Regardless, he was like very very like not winning. But he, he was able a to sponge. <laughs> yeah, he absorbed everything. They threw everything at him. He just had to take it. Had to take it. And Lenny coming out dealing 38k damage. That's yeah. wow. Wow, man. I am uh, my my points are rich tonight, man. <laughs> yeah, I think we're ready. Let's yeah. bring him in. Mr. Kitaro, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kitaro. Yo, he's celebrating. Yo, that yeah. the solo kill down in the bot lane on the Lucian. Yeah. Oh, there he is. The infernal saved me. Yeah, that was yeah. Uh, that was quite the uh quite the game there. Give us your thoughts. Give us your overall rundown of the game. What'd you think of it? Uh, I. Think that they put too much pressure top, and they just let us do whatever we wanted. Bot and bot side of the map. Yeah, that's actually uh, kind and of good. Sugar, sugar from behind was still able to trade kills, so it was fine. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll get something similar. So yeah, uh, yeah, we were commenting on his ability to, uh, you know, be literally zero four and still. I mean, he almost dealt the second most. He dealt the third most damage, and he was just, you know, beefy. Mm -hmm.
but you guys you know is it we saw you guys do some crazy stuff like the um kindred kindred Tarek, but we just saw you know the jinx alistar is it are you guys kind of buttoning up your bot lane in terms of adc support yeah, you guys are looking great by the way yeah we're dialing it back we <laughs> We're getting a little bit too much of the fun picks, but it wasn't working out, so we're trying to dial it back a bit. Okay, was there any point in the game where you guys kind of were, you know, at a disarray because you saw Sugar Taddy 0-4, or was it pretty calm and composed throughout the game? Uh, It was fine, because uh, Senna was getting kills, so and that's all. I was fine. That makes sense. But again, two back-to-back -back great games out of you guys. It was a pleasure to watch. I don't know if there's anything that caught you guys off guard. I know you guys did throw three bands at Mailbox. So are you surprised to see the Rumble? Uh, Not surprised, but we didn't know necessarily where it was going to go. Their first few picks were pretty good because we couldn't tell what was going where. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, man, it was great. You guys are seem to be hitting your strive. Two dominant back-to-back -back performances. Aiden, I don't know if you have anything you want to say to close it out. Uh, no, I have I have nothing for Kitaro. Just a fantastic game. Fantastic two games, rather. Um, look forward to seeing you next week. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, that was a... That was fun to watch. I kind of like that. Um, my only problem, like I said, was like with the draft at least, was that they had no AP. But I guess it didn't matter in the end. So yeah, good work to uh, third impacts. Yeah, they were able to set up Yasuo, proving in the two like pivotal team fights that one on the back end where they alted Rune Tato and um, Mailbox, and then you know Senna hit a point where she just scaled and she was mon like a monstrosity. But yeah, again, thank you guys for coming out tonight. We had two back-to-back -back bangers of games. You know, spectacular performances out of the side of Third Impact. We will be back. Um, I believe we have a game or two tomorrow. But make sure to stay tuned and keep an eye out for it. For sure. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.